Hi, this is Arthur, and this is a summary of the story of the World Quest Line, Neko is a Cat, and the Narukami Trail from Genshin Impact version 2.1. The Traveler and Paimon return to the Asase Shrine on Serai Island and speak to Neko, the talking cat and provisional head priestess of the shrine. Neko tells a story about someone named Hibiki, the actual head priestess of the shrine, and Domeki, someone who would occasionally help maintain the shrine. Hibiki was the one who named Neko, and Neko hopes to fix up the shrine before Hibiki returns. Neko asks the Traveler to clean up the shrine, and the Traveler does so. The next day, the Traveler visits again, and Neko asks them to fix the prayer rack. Neko tells a story about how many people would come to the shrine on account of that prayer rack. With Taisuke and Eiko's help, the Traveler does so. The next day, the Traveler returns, and Neko asks them to find the lost cats Kombumaru and Hachiho. Neko explains that she was the one who gave Kombumaru its name because Hibiki would often talk about Kombumaru with a nice expression, though Neko had no idea what a Kombumaru was. The Traveler runs around the island and finds the lost cats. The next day, the Traveler returns and Neko hatches a plan to bring all the other cats of the shrine in line. Neko tells a story about a delicious meal Hibiki made that both cats and humans would partake in. Neko then asks the Traveler to make a delicious meal that can incentivize the other cats to behave and follow instructions. The Traveler returns to Inazuma City and asks the chef, Kiminami Ana, for help. Ana creates something called the Invigorating Kitty Meal and the Traveler brings it back to Neko. The Traveler, Paimon, Neko, and the rest of the cats enjoy the kitty meal together. The next day, the Traveler returns and Neko requests a large stone statue shaped in Neko's image. Neko tells a story where Hibiki mentioned fox statues around Inazuma and asked Neko if she'd like a statue made of her. The Traveler then heads to Tatarasuna to meet Oshima Junpei, an out-of-work craftsman. The Traveler brings Junpei back to the island and Junpei agrees to make the statue. The next day, the Traveler returns and Junpei has broken his tools. He asks the Traveler to bring some iron chunks so that he may make some more and the Traveler does so. The next day, the Traveler returns and finds Junpei is tired of eating the fish given to him by Neko every day. Junpei asks the Traveler to provide him some meat and the Traveler does so. The next day, the Traveler returns and Neko mentions that the statue is almost complete. Neko asks the Traveler to hang some bells around the shrine and tells a story about how Domeki had given the bells to Hibiki and Hibiki would do the same. The Traveler does so and Neko is pleased. Neko also mentions that she asked Taisuke and Eiko about Hibiki and Domeki and that they didn't know anything about Hibiki. However, Taisuke has heard about an Ako Domeki who was abandoned, but Neko doubts that Domeki could be a bad person. The next day, the Traveler returns and the statue is just about done. Right when Junpei chisels off the last piece of stone, a giant cat-shaped cloud appears. Neko interprets this as a sign that something good has happened and that Hibiki will finally return. Neko also mentions that she is looking forward to the return of Domeki, Janome, and all of Hibiki's friends. The Traveler then speaks to Taisuke and Eiko separately, and they tell them about a famous pirate leader from Inazuma's history named Ako Domeki. Apparently, Asase Shrine was a gathering place for pirates, and the Shogun had attempted to clear out all inhabitants and pirates from Serai Island. Instead of leaving, Domeki led a naval battle directly against the Shogunate when a sudden storm wiped out Domeki's fleet and much of the Shogunate forces. Taisuke theorizes that the storm was deliberately caused by someone unsealing the warding stones that the Traveler had only recently resealed. Taisuke and Eiko choose not to mention any of this to Neko, and Neko remains pleased. Some time later, the Traveler returns again, and Neko requests to be taken to the Grand Narukami Shrine. Neko says that Hibiki once mentioned the shrine, and perhaps she's there. The Traveler takes Neko to Narukami Shrine, and they speak to a shrine maiden named Inagi Hotomi. Neko asks Hotomi about Asase Hibiki, and Hotomi tells them all she knows from the historical texts. Asase Hibiki was the last successor of the Asase Shrine. About four to five hundred years ago, Asase Hibiki, Kamuna Haranosuke, and Mikoshi Nagamasa were known as the Yogo Three and went to Mount Yogo to learn under Yogo Tengu. During that time, Asase also apprenticed at the Narukami Shrine and befriended Kitsune Saigu. Unfortunately, the three separated due to some sort of disaster. Haranosuke then crossed the sea to Liwei to learn Adeptai arts, Nagamasa returned to Inazuma City to serve the Shogunate, and Asase returned to Serai Island, though the historical records are not clear. Paimon confirms with Hotomi that this story is hundreds of years old, implying that Neko is likely just as old and that Hibiki, being a normal human, has likely passed away. Neko is a bit confused at all of Hotomi's answers and asks Hotomi again, where is Hibiki? Before Hotomi can answer, the Traveler interrupts and says, Hibiki simply isn't here. Paimon also chimes in and says that Hibiki must have simply gone somewhere else. Afterwards, Neko says that she is tired and they return to Serai Island. And once there, Neko continues to wait for Hibiki. And that is the end of this quest in this video. If you've liked what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe.